Canola oil comes from the rape seed, which is part of the mustard family of plants. Rape is the most toxic of all food oil plants. Both soy and rape are weeds. Insects won't eat either plant since they are both poisonous to them, but the oil from the rape seed is 100 times more toxic than soy oil. Canola, or rape seed, is an industrial oil that is used as a lubricant, fuel, soap, a synthetic rubber base, and as an illuminant for the slick color pages you see in magazines. As an industrial oil, it does not belong in the human body. The main offender in canola oil has been said to be its extremely toxic erisic acid ingredient. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, ruled this is edible at low concentrations, no more than 2%. The simple fact is you cannot trust the FDA as far as you can throw them. These are the people who approved of the following deadly poisons for human consumption, Vioxx, Aspartame, Cipro, Inbril, Celebrax, and many, many others, aside from the tainted vaccinations that have brought pandemic cancers and autoimmune diseases to the world. Canola oil has some very interesting characteristics and effects on living systems. For example, it forms latex-like substances that agglutinate red blood corpuscles. That means, the red cells stick together into lazy strands. Soy oil does the same thing to red cells, but not nearly as much. Rape oil is also known to antagonize the central and peripheral nervous systems. Loss of vision is a known and common side effect. Again, soy oil does the same, but far less. This deterioration often takes years and is associated with emphysema, respiratory distress, anemia, constipation, irritability, and blindness in animals and in humans. Rape oil was widely used in animal feeds throughout England between 1986 and 1991, where after it was thrown out. Do you remember reading about the cows, pigs, and sheep that went blind? lost their minds, attacked people, and had to be shot? The experts blamed their disease on Scrappy, a disease first thought to be linked to slow viruses, and later to prion protein crystals. Their resulting brain holes caused the animals to behave erratically. But, when the rapeseed oil was removed from their diets, their Scrappy disappeared. Today, Scrappy-like illness seems to be spreading rapidly throughout the world in humans in the form of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CID. It makes you wonder how much of this may be associated with brain damage from dietary canola, doesn't it? Industry experts love to tell us how canola was developed in Canada and is safe to use. This is how the name canola was coined, Canadian oil. They even admit that it was developed from rape seeds through genetic engineering and irradiation, after which it is no longer rapeseed but canola instead. Over the past few decades US and Canadian farmers have grown more and more rapeseed for use by canola oil manufacturers. They ship it for use in thousands of processed foods, with the blessings of our governments, and watchdog agencies, particularly the powerful and corrupt FDA. I say corrupt for several reasons the least of which is they fast-track for approval costly and toxic cancer and AIDS drugs, and condone distribution of toxic canola oil, while persecuting those dispensing virtually harmless vitamins and herbs. Canola's Relative Nerve Gas Rape oil is also the source of the infamous chemical warfare agent, mustard gas, which was banned after blistering the lungs and skin of thousands of soldiers and civilians during World War I. Recent French reports indicate that is was again used during the Gulf War. Canola oil contains large amounts of cyanide containing compounds called isothiocyanates. Its chemical relative, cyanide, inhibits mitochondrial production of your body's major energy molecule called ADP, short for adenosine triphosphate. This energy molecule fuels virtually every metabolic function. Canola oil is also high in glycosides. 
Glycosides are best known as the component in rattlesnake venom that inhibits muscle enzymes and causes instant immobilization of the victim. By blocking certain enzyme functions, and depleting your bioelectric energy, canola oil can actually interfere with critical biochemical processes in humans and animals. Canola oil, as well as soy oil containing glycosides, can also depress your immune system. These oils can cause your white blood cell bodyguards, your T-cells, to go into a stupor and fall asleep on the job. So you can now see how the proliferation of these oils in the foods we eat can contribute to the increased risk of immune system deficiency disorders. Finally, completely overlooked by nearly everyone, is the energy frequency or resonance in this substance. You know how essential oils carry a resonance frequency, like a vibrational aromatic spirit? The essence of canola oil still carries the energy signature of erisic acid that sends this toxic signal instantaneously to every one of your multi-trillion cells. So do yourself a favor and stop using canola and products containing it. Use sunflower, peanut, olive, and coconut oils instead. Your body will love you for that.